Hey everyone, let's do the revenue milestones question in the search section here. It's another interesting one. And here's the problem definition. So we keep track of the revenue Facebook makes every day. Yeah, of course, Facebook is interested in its revenue. Um, and we want to know uh, on what days Facebook hits certain revenue milestones. So we're given an array of revenues and an array of milestones, and we're supposed to figure out when we hit the milestones. Um, so let's look at the example here. Um, so revenues and milestones, um, and the output is 4, 6, 10, because those are the days on which um, the milestones are hit, basically. So the, you're supposed to sum up all the revenues, right? basically uh, create a cumulative sum as you go through these numbers here. And then these represent, you know, the indices represent the days basically, I think, yeah, from day one to n. Um, and then you're supposed to figure out, yeah, at what point you hit a, a revenue of 100. So on day four, we hit 100 because it's uh, these, this is the first time that the sum of the revenues adds up to 100. So this is 10, this is 30, this is 60. All right, and then that's still not less than 100, but as soon as we hit 40, we've hit 100, right? Um, so that's basically the problem. Uh, let's do the solution here in Python. So this is a list, and this is a list. Okay, here are the uh, examples, or the test cases here. Um, and then let's write some code to, to solve this problem. So this revenues um, has length n, they say, right? Length n for the revenues and length k for the milestones. And so we got to output uh, another list of length k, right? So for each milestone we're given, they want they want the day, basically, on which the, the milestone is hit. Um, so the first thing we're going to do here is just to do a cumulative sum. So let me write a quick loop for that. Um, let's see, OK, so for we're just going to modify this in place, okay? So for i in range uh, one uh, length of the revenues, we're going to do revenues uh, plus equal to, well, revenues at i plus equal to revenues at i minus one, right? And that'll just give us a cumulative sum. So what does that mean? So as an example, if we use this example here, whoops, sorry. So cumulative sum of this would be, um, as I mentioned before, it'd be something like 10, and then 30, and then 60, and then 100, and then you get the idea. Um, so now we've we've done this part. Now we just need to basically find search for uh, the milestones in this uh, in this revenue list right so we're going to do that with binary search here to keep things uh, relatively efficient so we'll define a separate function but let's just use the function as if it exists for now so we're going to return um, let's call this bin search for binary search um, of uh, revenues and then we're going to search for a particular milestone in the revenues. Um, so for m in milestones, right? Um, so now we, all we have to do is define this function, uh, bin search, right? We're just going to do kind of a binary search to find that milestone in the revenues, right? So uh, we're going to define the function. OK, so bin search, bin search, and it's going to take a list, right, uh, the revenues, basically, and then a target value, the milestone, right? And it's going to return a list, right? Or, it's going to, no, sorry, it's going to return the, the index um, where, where that target is in the list, right? Or there may not be an exact match, but we're going to return the, basically, the closest index, right, uh, in order to solve the problem here. So, um, so, okay, how do we do binary search? Well, if you don't know anything about binary search, you can uh, look it up on Wikipedia or just Google it. Uh, but we're going to do, yeah, it's a bit of a different binary search because we're not looking 
even if we don't find the target exactly in the list, we want the basically the um, the minimum index that gives uh, uh, accumulative revenue greater than or equal to the milestone, right? So uh, it's it's sort of like binary search, but we're going to change one thing at the end to, to make this work for our problem. Um, so for now, let's do standard binary search, look for the target in the list. So let's do low equals zero and high equals the length of the list minus one. And then while low is less than or equal to high, uh, we're going to define a midpoint here, uh, which is low plus high uh, over two, floor division here. And then if um, the value at the midpoint is exactly equal to the target, uh, we can return the midpoint. Um, otherwise, we're going to do we're going to continue with our binary search, right? So if the value at the midpoint is less than the target, we're going to do um, low equals mid plus one. Else, we're going to do high equals mid minus one, right? Um, and so if we find the target in the list, then that's great. We we return it at this point. But if this loop exits, then then where are we? What do we have? We have high less than low. And what else? We have list at high is less than the target, is less than the list at low. Um, if low and high uh, are not out of range, right? So high could be minus one here and low could be the length of the list for example and then this would not be defined and this would not be defined but as long as they're within the range as long as they're not out of range then we have this as well um, and so remember we want the milestone or we want the the day on which the total revenue is greater than or equal to the milestone right so we're, we want actually the, the the low index here right so we're going to return return low, but we do have to handle the case where low is equal to, or, or uh, yeah, equal to the length of the list, right? Where low is out of range. So uh, if low greater than or equal to length of list, uh, we're going to return minus one, right? So they want you to return minus one whenever uh, if the milestone is never met, right? Basically, if the milestone is a million, and your revenues don't add, don't add up to a million, then you're never going to hit that milestone, so you should return minus one here. Um, okay, so now I think we're almost done, except they do want this to be a uh, one based, uh, one I indexed from one, right? So um, it's day one to n, right? So we have to add one to everything. So I think I'll just do a one plus here. And then, but they do want you to return minus one when it's not found. So I'm going to do return minus two, right? So um, we're, it's going to be minus two and then plus one. So that's going to be minus one if it's not if it's not found or if it's not uh, if the milestone is never never hit, right? Um, so let's run this and see if we pass our test cases. Um, there are only like two test cases, I think, but uh, let's make sure we pass them. Okay, so we passed the two test cases, um, and you should probably add a test case where, like, the milestone is never hit, right? That's not even testing this part of our code here, but uh, but that's okay. Um, so let's talk about time complexity and space complexity. So in terms of time complexity, this is O of n, right? If n is the length of the revenues list, because uh, we're just looping through the uh, the list. And then we're doing binary search, right? We're doing binary search k times, because k is the length of the milestones list. And binary search, the complexity of binary search is log, um, let's see, it's log n, right? So n is the length of the revenues, which we're passing here to the, the list parameter here. So let me write it down. So time complexity. Let me put it at the end here. Okay, so time, time complexity would be O of uh, O of n for the cumulative sum, and then plus k log n, right, for the 
for the K binary searches we're doing. Uh, I think that's right. And then for space complexity, um, it should just be O of K, because we're creating an array of length K here, right? Uh, that's the only memory that we're really using here. Um, so that's how I see the problem and the solution. Let me know um, if you have a better solution or if you think about the problem differently or if you think I made a mistake here, please do let me know in the comments. Um, all right, I hope that was helpful and thanks very much for watching.